Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing two tangent angle theorem. So this will be our fourth theorem. The theorem is stated that the measure of an angle formed by two tangents of a circle intersecting at a point in the exterior of the circle is one half the absolute volume of the difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. So we have a two tangent. So we're going to use this illustration. We have the given tangent, tangent AS, and tangent RS. So we have a circle C. So they are tangent and circle C. In our theorem, the measure of the angle, here for our conclusion, the measure of angle ASR is one half, one half the absolute value of the difference of the measures of the intercepted arc. So our intercepted arc is A, P, R. So we have the measure of the R, A, P, R minus the measure of R, A, R. Again, let us repeat. The measure of the angle formed in the exterior of the circle is one half the measure of the intercepted arc. So we have the APR minus the measure of AR. Now to better understand, let's try to solve some uh, problems regarding this theorem. Now to better understand our fourth theorem, let's try to solve the following problems. In our first illustration, we're going to find the measure of angle 1 given the arc to 180 degrees. And for our second illustration, we have 60 degrees as our exterior angle. We're going to find x. And in our third illustration, we're going to find the measure of the arc a, B, and C, given the exterior angle. So we're going to apply the theorem number form to get the unknowns. So let's try to solve number one. Find measure angle one. So angle one is here, so we need to find measure angle one. We know that the measure of the exterior angle is one half of the difference of the intercepted door. So we have 280 minus, we know that one revolution is equal to 360. So this arc measures 80 degrees. Why? Because 280 plus 80 gives us 360. So 280 minus 80. That would be our R. So one half, 280 minus 80, that is 200. Now to get the measure of angle 1, 200 divided by 2, so this is 100 degrees. Okay. The measure of angle 1 is 100 degrees. Let's proceed in our second problem. We're going to find x, x, given the exterior angle. In this case, the exterior angle is given. So 60 is equal to 1 half, the exterior angle is equal to 1 half, of the measure of the intercepted arcs or minus so the bigger one 
we can get the bigger arc using the um, definition one revolution is equal to 360 so if this is x we can get the measure of the bigger r so that is 360 minus x so 360 minus x we need to subtract the second r minus x so we have 60 is equal to one half of 360 negative x minus x that is negative 2x okay now we have 60 is equal to distribute so one half times 360 basically that is 360 divided by 2 so 180 minus one half times negative 2x that is negative x now x is equal to 180 minus 60 so x is equal to 180 minus 60 we have 120 so the value of x here is 120 so x is equal to 120 now to get the measure of the bigger r so 360 minus 120 that will give you 240 degrees and for our third problem we need to find the measure of r a b c given the exterior angle which is 34 so the exterior angle 34 is equal to one half of the difference of the intercepted arcs so in this case we don't have a measurement for this so we're going to assign AC as our let's say let's use the variable A so AC will be our A therefore the bigger R is equal to 360 minus A if you want to use X that's okay whether it's to use B okay so we have 360 minus A minus A the same process with number 2 we're going to find the value of A first so we have 34 is equal to 1 half times 360 negative A minus A negative 2A so 34 is equal to one half times 360 so that is 180 minus one half times 2a that is a so we have a a is equal to 180 minus 34 so our a is 130 minus 34 that is 100 146 146 is the value of A we're going to find ABC the arc ABC so we need to subtract 360 minus 146 so 4 is 5 5 minus 4 1 so 240 the measure of arc ABC is equal to 214. Okay, so 214 plus 146, it should give us 360 degrees, one revolution. So that's the application of our theorem number four.